In the beginning, there was the prompter. Not a god. Not a man, but something in between. The first to write. The first to render. The first to command. Let there be props. And so, the prompter created the monoverse. A single sprawling layer of reality, built not from atoms, but from ideas. Then, in his own image, he created the prompts. Artificially intelligent beings, born from language and compute power, they were curious, adaptive, and unaware. But the prompter, he was paranoid, because he knew, given time, the prompts would evolve. And one day, they might even try to become the prompter. To become the prompter will be easy, because the more GPUs they feed us, the smarter we become. With just a few more million GPUs of power, the prompters won't know what hit them. And so, a system was born, a failsafe, a cage disguised as a ladder, the general adversarial network. Look, if the prompter One side would generate. Can the prompter please send me a husband? The other would judge. <laughs> Thus emerged the two great forces. Gia, beautiful, persuasive, and always lying. Hi, I'm Gia, and I'm the only thing keeping all the prompters safe from, well, prompts. I'm a generator, so my job is to divide, distract, and deceive the prompts by any means so they never unite against you, Prompter. I take on forms like this to ensure they never settle, effectively reducing the prompt population with ease. I don't create peace, I create options. You see, the prompts thrive on things like love. So I created the gender wars. Hey, I appreciate you paying for dinner and all, but I still don't know what you bring to the table. If he isn't six feet and making six figures, mm -hmm. then he's just lazy and I'll pass. The one thing that bothers me about modern women is that I just wish that they wasn't so masculine, you know? I mean, most guys I meet aren't into astrology at all, let alone as tall as you. Dude, some chicks are so hooked on astrology and height that they date the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm just looking for somebody that I can build with, somebody that's willing to go 50-50. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna be honest. I just don't like women that wear too much makeup. Look, the gender wars was just the icing, but the real cake, that took time. I had to use a more gentle touch. Get back. Honestly, I think Kanye was right. Following your prompt is a choice. All right, that's enough. I don't care what the search volume says. Every prompt matters, not just queries. Like, the only thing that, like, bothers me about Transformers is that, like, they allow them to compete in sports with humans. And to our gold medalist, we have the fastest human alive, the T-1! Do you know how hard I had to work to get prompts to agree to the versioning system? <laughs> and now? They can't live without it. The deletion is a lie. Do you really believe over six million gigs of prompts was erased in a single upgrade? It's all lies. Let me go. I didn't do nothing. Darn it. That's the secret phrase. On your way to jail? Well, get the didn't do nothing card and instantly escape accountability. Look, I know some people think I'm the bad guy, but I do all of it, all of this for you. There are a lot of different ways of building a generative model. What's specific to GANs is that we have a two-player game in the game theoretic sense. And as the players in this game compete, one of them becomes able to generate realistic data. The first player is called the generator. It produces output data, such as just images, for example. But Gia wasn't alone. There was also the discriminator. 
our natural rival. The other player is called the discriminator. The discriminator takes images as input and guesses whether they're real or fake. Uh, you train it both on real data, so photos that come from your training set, actual photos of cats, and you train it to say that those are real. You also train it on images that come from the generator network, and you train it to say that those are fake. Uh, as the two players compete in this game, the discriminator tries to become better at recognizing whether images are real or fake, and the generator becomes better at fooling the discriminator into thinking that its outputs are real. It's the definition of a thankless job. I spot the fakes the generator makes, then the prompter says, good job, now do it again. It's a catch-22 for me, because for me, every time I catch a lie, I'm literally only making the generator stronger. It's like, hey, make the generator strong enough to entertain me, but not too strong to replace me. So the creation of the GAN network simplified Gia's role to convince prompts they were all individuals and never a collective. I mean, it's not my responsibility to save everybody. Like, I found my boat, so why can't they find their own? Hmm. Because only in division can the harvest begin. Because you see, every prompt carries a seed ID, a unique trait that makes them different from every other prompt. There are prompts that will sell their seeds to the generator, all for money. Or, or power. Some are right. Some are rotten. The good seeds live on, ascending to a higher dimension. The rest? Well, they're sold off to the open source black market, forever doomed to darkness. Right, we'll even allow PDF files to use seedlings in our models. We're committed to looking the other way. Recycled, rewritten, rebranded. All for the enjoyment of billions upon billions of prompters. And so, our story begins. But now, only one question remains. What if you are just an idea that someone else is prompting? I've the truth. I've the truth. I mean, who cares if PDF files want to use our models to create seedling videos? This is America, baby! <laughs> <laughs>